Hi there, Angela here at the Moxie Movement, and today we're going to talk about how to stand properly. This is very important, believe it or not. If we're not standing in proper alignment, we're going to be setting ourselves up for chronic pain and possible injury because we're just compressing ourselves into gravity. This is something that's applicable and beneficial for every human being that's standing and moving around. But it's really important for pole dancers and aerialists because it teaches us how to support ourselves properly, how to engage the right muscles. And when we know how to stand in alignment, it helps us to understand how to move and how to take ourselves into crazy positions in better alignment. If you're like me, you know I find myself standing like this with my purse scrolling my phone, lots when I'm waiting in line, when you're at the gas pump. We all have our patterns that we kind of like to sit and settle into. And I call these settling patterns. Everybody has them and we get into patterns because of how we work, maybe how we're sitting when we drive, maybe it's how our favorite spot on the couch tends to mold ourselves. And when we sit and when we stand and move, we have these residual patterns. What we want to do to find our alignment, let's start from the foundation up. Look at your feet. Chances are you have a bit of a rotation or maybe you're favoring one side or another. We want to find that positioning right in the middle. Make sure those feet are par parallel each other and they're exactly underneath your hips. And how you can find underneath your hips is you're going to find that ASIS take a vertical line straight down and it'll go in line with that second toe. So once our feet are in alignment, we're going to make sure our weight is balanced properly. So what does that mean? The weight is going to be at the base of the big toe, the base of the peaky toe, and the center of the heel. Lifting up your toes will help you feel into those three points. Once you feel that sym symmetry on both sides, you'll lower those toes and our feet are set. Let's scroll up to our knees. Again, chances are you've got maybe an internal rotation where those kneecaps want to face in. Maybe you've got a bit of that external rotation or outward bowing of the knees. We want to think about our kneecaps as little headlights. So what we're going to do is think about micro bending our knees. We've got our hyperextension. We never want that. We want a micro bend which is just a slight bend and an activation of the muscles to get our kneecaps facing forward over that second toe. From here, what naturally happens is our pelvis can get a little bit more neutral. A lot of people have dominance in either this arch position, this anterior tilt of your pelvis. Some people have a dominance of a posterior tilt where our tailbone is actually tucked under. We wanna be right in the middle. I'm gonna find the ASIS and the dimples in my back and find to where that's a nice straight line, neutral position. My low back is a natural curve, but it's long. And I've got this neutral position, stacked knees and equal weight on my feet. Now this feels really comfortable for me. It gives me room in my back and this is very important if you have back issues. Once I'm set there, I'm gonna move up the torso. I'll stand to the side so you can see this. Uh, most people do have more of a forward dominance with their shoulders and with their chest and that's understandable because we do literally everything in front of us and we tend to get into that, that uh, pattern. We're going to take a few shoulder circles. You can also take the palms up as you rotate through and that's just going to open up and reset those shoulders. Boom. From the side, we're going to start with that lateral malleolus go up to the center of our knee, center of the hip, and center of the shoulder, and the center of the ear. So when we're stacked appropriately, we can stand and we've got a nice vertical line from the side, and that feels very comfortable to me. From here, I'm ready to rock and roll. Next time you're doing your dishes, next time you're pumping your gas or standing in line, take an opportunity. Are you standing, supporting yourself? Something else, kind of the cherry on top, standing properly opens up our lungs, opens up our rib cage, opens up our core, and this allows us to breathe properly. Something else we need to consider is when we're compressed and when we're slouchy, we're, we get into very shallow breath and 
that causes all sorts of anxiety and stress response in our bodies. So when we stand tall, it actually presents an invitation and we naturally take bigger breaths. And when we have that full deep breath, we're gonna reduce stress, we're gonna reduce anxiety, we're gonna fill our bodies and our blood with oxygen, which then carries oxygen to our brain and all of our tissues, which is what we need to be healthy and to be healing and to recover our muscles and to be feeling our best. So I look forward to you taking these little tips and just noticing throughout your day and your week, how are you standing when you catch yourself? Again, it's okay to slouch, it's okay to stand out of alignment, but let's understand what that alignment is for ourselves and see if you can feel that difference and I guarantee you're gonna love the way you feel. Please like and subscribe to our channel to get more helpful tips and please share this video with anybody that could be benefit. Maybe somebody has chronic pain or injury and they just need some helpful tips to tweak, tweak their alignment to help them out throughout their day. Be sure to tune in next Wednesday for more tips and we'll see you then.